Hello everyone, the developers of Helldivers 2 just released a new patch, they called it minor patch, but I think it is pretty substantial. We have now new planetary hazards from tornadoes, meteor showers, and even more. I loaded into a game really quick, I wanted to see if I could encounter any of these events, and here is one. First, I thought that this was the meteor shower, but then it happened again, but this time there was a message and it's actually a volcanic eruption. The environment of this game has been one of the best, I think visually very stunning, and now that they're adding all these additional natural disasters and things like that, I can't wait to see them all. Another thing that they didn't say in the patch, but I noticed, is that the rain is much much heavier. Let me know if you also feel that way about the rain being heavier or if I'm just completely talking out of my ass. The next item is balancing the eradicate missions. They made it more difficult and they also increased the amount of enemies and it also made the duration longer. It says 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes is the max. I'm not sure what it was before. I don't know if it was 12 or 10 minutes. However, the amount of enemies spawning more often is very noticeable. The moment I landed, enemies were already there. And I went in trying on medium difficulty. I just wanted to see how it is compared to before. And it's definitely much more enemies. Previously, before the change, when you land, you still have a couple of seconds, you know, you still have a little bit of time to call in all the sentries, everything, before the first wave of enemies start showing up. Now, they're there the moment you land. They went maybe a little bit too hard on this one. I went on medium difficulty and it kind of felt like a suicide difficulty. Just minus the heavy armors or the bigger bugs. But the quantity, man, is definitely way more. I'm not sure what the total amount of kills was for before. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's about 175. Right now, it's 225. That, I'm okay. I like it. I like it that you have to kill more enemies. I'm pretty happy with that change. Next up, we have a lot of balancing changes to weapons and stratagems. First, the breaker, everyone's favorite weapon. They decrease the magazine capacity from 16 to 13 and then increase the recall from 30 to 55. I think it is okay. I think this nerf was a little bit less than I thought. I thought that they were going to reduce damage. I think I think it's okay. I didn't notice much of a difference when I was using this weapon in the eradicate mission. They also nerfed the railgun, another favorite. They decreased the armor penetration in safe mode and they also decreased the damage against durable enemy parts. I have to test it and I see how many shots it takes to destroy the leg armor of a charger. It used to be two shots in safe mode. So let's see if it's taking now three or four. We're gonna take a look and see how it goes. After that, we have a couple of buffs. The flamethrower increased the damage per second by 50. That's a pretty big, substantial buff. I thought it was a pretty decent weapon. It was actually doing plenty of damage to chargers because, you know, the fire will burn in between the armor and all that stuff. So now that they increased 50% on that same damage, I'm pretty excited. I might use it more often and see how it goes. Next up, the laser cannon. They also increase the damage against durable enemy parts, increase ammo penetration, improve ergonomics. I'm not sure what that means, ergonomics. Then the Punisher, another buff, increase total ammo capacity from 40 to 60, increase stagger force, increase damage from 40 to 45 per bullet. Quite a bit of a buff. Finally, we have the Breaker Spray and Pray, increase armor penetration, increase fire rate from 300 to 330, increase number of pellets from 12 to 16 per shot, but they decrease the magazine size from 32 to 26. Hmm. I don't know. I have not actually even used this gun, not even once, so I'm not too sure how it is, but I sure I'm definitely going to try them before this update, it was always the breaker. But now with all these other changes, I think we can have fun with other weapons as well. Next up, 
the stratagems so energy shield pack that's another nerf they increase the delay before recharging well, i'm not too sure how many seconds it was before but now i guess it's gonna be a little bit longer i'm gonna try it and uh see if i notice any difference i doubt it personally i think this is still going to be a very good stratagem but we'll see then finally the 360 and the 120 orbital barrages they increase the duration of the bombardment that's good and they decrease the spread we'll have to try and see how effective it is now then the rest is all fixes out of all these fixes i think some of the most notable ones are the first one they finally fix the armor rating values so now light armor medium and heavy armors they should work as intended it's time to maybe try that heavy armor and see how that works and then another update is which i already tested is the hell diver standing next to icbms during launch will get properly toasted so i already tested this one i stood next to the missile and uh, yeah yeah you die you die on another note it's not part of this update but they also sent out a tweet stating the mechs are coming soon so i can't wait for that i know that there's been already quite a few leaks of people spawning those in games using mods so i can't wait to officially see them i hope you all enjoy the game have fun and i see you all in the next video